Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcom Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So the next global Dokkan festival for the Fizz Transforming Piccolo will begin tonight at 10.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is in approximately 12 to 13 hours from the time this video comes out. And I feel like there are a good amount of you out there that probably already know how I feel about this new Piccolo as well as his banner, but for those of you that haven't been watching my videos recently and are still on the fence about whether or not you should be spending your stones on this upcoming Dokkan Fest banner, then you've come to the right place because in this video, we're gonna break down the new Piccolo and go over exactly what he does. We're also gonna talk about a new AGL nail that's also coming with the banner. And we're gonna go over the banner itself. I'll give you guys my opinions about whether or not I feel like it's actually good value for your stones. We're gonna go over the uh, Worthy Rivals category, which is led by the new Piccolo. And once we're done that, hopefully you guys will have all the information you need to make an informed decision about whether or not you should be spending your hard-earned stones. All right, so if that sounds good to you, then we're gonna jump right into it, starting with a quick breakdown of the Piccolo's banner. Now, what we're gonna look at is the JP version of this banner because of course the banner hasn't dropped yet so we don't know exactly what it will look like on global but the thing is for these regular Dokkan Fest banners generally speaking the JP banner is exactly what the global banner will be so uh, I don't really expect there to be any changes to this banner when it drops on global in like I said 12 to 13 hours and uh, if that's the case then it will be these units that are featured. So we have the new Piccolo, um, we have the AGL Nail, who is not a Dokkan Fest exclusive, but he's actually really freaking good. We also have the Transforming Vegeta, AGL Metal Cooler, uh, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, AGL Turles, and also STR Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. Now, this banner is interesting because it's actually a very good banner. Um, the units featured are all very, very good. Turles is an amazing support. STR Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, of course an amazing tank after Extreme Z Awakening. Uh, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, still very strong, still a good tank, still hits um, quite hard, I mean decently hard, and also fits on a lot of good teams. Uh, Metal Cooler, amazing for his categories. Uh, Transforming Vegeta, still currently the best uh, pure Saiyans lead. Overall, this banner is actually really good, but the issue with it is that Recently, um, a lot of these units were featured on banners that came out in the past couple of months, right? So um, none of them are really like that exciting anymore. I mean, I guess it depends on like what your box looks like and how many of these units you have. And that's always the case, right? But I think generally speaking, it's not the most exciting banner anymore since a lot of these guys like the Metal Cooler, SSB, Vegeta, Transforming Vegeta were all featured very, very recently. So it's gonna be kind of hard to recommend summoning on this banner. Uh, for me personally, I'm gonna do probably about like 200 stones because I do have the Vegeta rainbowed. I have the STR Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta rainbowed. I have the um, transforming Vegeta with three dupes. Uh, I have a dupe in Metal Cooler. I have Turles as well. So really the only new units for me are the two uh, new Namekians. So uh, yeah, the chances of me pulling a useless dupe is just way too high so uh, I'm probably not gonna go too hard but uh, it's up to you some people might really love Piccolo so that's a personal decision but this is the banner right there guys and now we're gonna move on to the Piccolo himself so we're gonna start with his leader skill which is a dual category uh, leader skill for Namekians and worthy rivals he gives Namekians category key plus 4 HP attack and defense plus 170 percent or Worthy Rivals, Category Key Plus 3, HP, Attack and Defense, plus 150%. Now I believe we do have a... I think there's another unit in this game, I forgot which one it is. I think it's one of the Super Saiyan Blue, either Vegeta or... No, I'm pretty sure it's the Tech Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, who also leads the Worthy Rivals category. But of course, his leader skill is nowhere near as good as the Fizz Piccolo's. Piccolo Super Attack raises defense and causes immense damage. And his passive... Gives him attack and defense plus 100%, recovers 7% HP when HP is 77% or less, and foresees enemies super attack, which is super, super useful for Super Battle Road and other events where 
Um, it's very critical that you know where the super attack is coming from. Uh, active skill is fusion with Kami, fuses with Kami, and can be activated when HP is 70% or more with another Namekian's category ally on the team, starting from the fourth turn from the start of battle once only, and his links are Z Fighters, Experienced Fighters, Namekians, Brainiacs, Shocking Speed, Cold Judgment, and Fierce Battle. Categories are Namekians, Worthy Rivals, Android slash Cell Saga, Bond of Master and Disciple, and that's it. And then once you pop that active skill, he will become Piccolo Fused with Kami. His super attack becomes greatly raises his attack for one turn and causes immense damage with a high chance of stunning the enemy. His passive will be super strength, attack and defense plus 120%, reduces damage received by 40%, chance of performing a critical hit plus 10 to 40%, the more HP remaining, the greater the boost, recovers 10% HP whenever HP is 77% or less, and foresees enemies super attack. The links stay exactly the same, and of course categories are the same as well. So overall, Piccolo is a very, very good unit guys. He has a very chill requirement for his transformation, for his active skill, so you should be able to activate this on most events. And once you transform, he gets a solid boost for attack and defense. He can reduce damage by a pretty significant amount. He also has a boosted crit chance. He also heals your team. And he also has the ability to see incoming supers, which like I said, can be super clutch on some harder events. And uh, he's just a really good unit. Now the main issue I see with him, honestly, is that uh, he's only really viable. I mean, he can be used on multiple teams, of course, he's in all these categories, but the best category for him, the only one that really makes sense for him is his own team, which is a combination of Namekians and Worthy Rivals. And the thing is, if I'm being honest, I don't think a lot of people are gonna be summoning for this Piccolo, which means that it's gonna be really hard to find friend leads for this guy's team and for that reason it's going to be really hard to run him on his optimal team so uh, that's definitely something to consider until bandai decides to fix the friend system uh, that's going to be a big issue with a lot of units that are not like very hype right so for example in the future when we get the uh, agl android 13 even though he's a very good unit it's going to be super hard to run his team because people aren't going to be summoning for him, or at least not a lot of people will be summoning for him, which means not a lot of people will have him set as the friend lead, right? So something to keep in mind, he's really good, but uh, his best team is his own team, and it's going to be hard to find friend leads for this guy, all right? So moving on now to the new nail which is also coming with the banner. And this dude for a non doka FS unit is actually ridiculous. So his leader skill is Namekian's category key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 150%. Super attack is Mystic Flash, raises attack and defense and causes supreme damage to the enemy. Of course, attack and defense can be stacked infinitely with that super, which makes him amazing for the legendary Goku event, the infinite Dragon Ball history event, just like the Fizz Piccolo. His passive is attack and defense plus 100%, attack and defense plus 100%, and reduces damage received by 10% to 77%. The less HP remaining, the greater the reduction. When there is a Piccolo on the team, launches an additional super attack and all attacks become criticals when there is a wicked bloodline category enemy. Links are Namekians, Cold Judgment, Hero, Supreme Warrior, Experienced Fighters, Shocking Speed, and Fierce Battle. So this dude... Um, obviously, it works very, very well with the new Piccolo. Ideally, you want to run both of them on the same team because this guy can help activate the active skill for the Piccolo. And then Piccolo himself will be able to activate the second part of the Nails passive and give him that huge additional attack and defense boost and also that insane damage reduction. So uh, yeah, like I said, really, really good unit, this Nail. And now, finally, we're going to move on to a quick look at the Worthy Rivals category because I'm assuming most people or a lot of people out there have yet to run this category, all right? So here's a quick look. We're not going to focus too much on these guys on top because I'm assuming you're not going to be running any R's or N's or SR's on your team. Um, and you're probably not going to be running these Yamchas unless you really want to, then go for it. 
Uh, but some highlights here are basically a lot of Vegetas. We have the LR Majin Vegeta, we have some other Majin Vegetas, uh, we have a bunch of Beeruses. This Tech Beerus by far is the best one. STR Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, uh, Int Super Vegeta, LR Super Saiyan 4, uh, AGL Super Saiyan 4, a couple of blue Vegetas here as well. This dude should be getting an Extreme Z Awakening uh, in a couple months, I'd say, within the next couple of months on JP. Uh, some Android 18s, my girl. We have some Android 17s. Uh, Transforming Vegeta. Fizz Super Saiyan 3, who will get a Dokkan Awakening once we get the uh, next Heroes banner on Global. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, you can take a look for yourself. It's a mainly Vegeta category, from what I can tell, but we also have a few you know, other characters in there. Uh, overall, a fairly big category, at least medium size, not as big of course as um, the Pure Saiyans category, but good amount of units in here, and of course, when you run the Piccolo, you want to combine this category with uh, the Namekians category as well, or at least have Nail in there as part of the Namekians category. Um, so yeah, that's the category right there for Worthy Rivals. And that's pretty much all there is to talk about in this video. You guys know exactly what the Nail and Piccolo do. You know exactly what this banner will look like, or at least most likely what it will look like once it drops on Global. And you know exactly how I feel about the banner and the units as well. So hopefully that'll be enough information for you guys to make an informed decision about whether or not you should be spending your stones on this banner once it drops in the next 12 to 13 hours and as always with banner recommendations it's kind of tough because everybody has different requirements you know everybody has different needs for their teams or for their boxes or they just have different preferences for characters right like for example piccolo to me is like a you know good character i like him but i don't need him you know like i don't love piccolo but maybe there's a huge piccolo fan out there who just needs to have this new Dokkan FS Piccolo. I mean, he's by far the best Piccolo in the game, and the, the new AGL Nail is also by far the best Nail in the game. So if you're a huge Namekians fan, and you just gotta have these guys, then who am I to stop you from summoning, right? But I think for most people, it's the kind of banner where you can definitely skip if you don't want the units too bad. And I honestly think that your stones are better served on future banners, like the STR Transforming Cooler banner, which should be coming to global within the next like two to three months. I definitely think that's a better banner to save your stones for as opposed to this Piccolo because the cooler is a lot better than the Piccolo and I think his banner is also a lot better than Piccolo's banner. But that's just my opinion. That's just my recommendation. You guys are free to do whatever you feel. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys plan to do for this Piccolo banner uh, once it comes out, whether it's, you know, wailing out on it or spending a few stones, like a couple multis, and then calling it a day, or are you going to skip it completely to save for future banners like the cooler or anything else that you really want that uh, we know is coming in the future, right? So that's going to do it for today's video. Hope you guys learned something from it. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. And as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.